Hi everyone, this is the 8th lesson in chapter 12, in topic 12. Solve equations with fractions. Our objective is to use fractions to solve equations. How can you solve algebraic equations with fractions? Think about this question during the lesson. Marcus has carved 3 and 3 eighths feet of a totem. He says that the totem is 3 fourths complete. How tall will the totem be? You can write an equation to describe this situation. Step 1. Write an equation. Let h equal the height in feet of the totem. Which equation represents this situation? The equation is 3 fourths h equals 3 and 3 eighths. Once the variable h is defined, it keeps the same meaning every time it is used in the problem. There are two ways to get the variable h alone on one side of the equal sign. What are they? You can divide each side of the equation by 3 fourths, or you can use inverse operations and multiply each side of the equation by the reciprocal of 3 fourths. Step 2. Solve the equation. What property of equality is used in this step of the solution? The division property of equality is used. What fraction is equivalent to 3 and 3 eighths? Explain. 27 eighths is equivalent to 3 and 3 eighths. You multiply the whole number part, 3, by the denominator, 8, and then add the numerator, 3, to find the new numerator. The denominator stays the same, 8. Multiply 27 eighths times 4 thirds to find the value of h. The totem will be 4 and 1 half feet tall. Now you know how to solve algebraic equations with fractions. Now open your books page 637. We will solve now question number 2. The equation is 4 seventh m equal 10. And what we need to find is the value of the variable m. To do this, we know that 4 seventh is multiplied by m. And the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So, we will divide by 4 seventh. To remove 4 seventh from here, we should divide by the same number, 4 seventh. Okay? And, and also, we should do this in the other side. Divide by the same number, 4 seventh. Okay? Now, 4 seventh divided 4 seventh is 1. So we have here left in this side only m. Okay, so in the left side we have m. In the right side, 10 divided 4 seventh. Okay, now we should change division into multiplication. It's 10 multiplied by the reciprocal is 7 over 4. We have denominator 1. We can simplify. Divided 2 is 2 and divide 2 here. Divide 2 here, then divide 2 is 5. 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. And 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. Now this is improper fraction. 
we should write it as a mixed number. So divide 35 by 2. 35 divided 2 is 17. 3 divided 2 is 1. And the remainder is 1. So this is 15. 15 divided 2 is 7. Because 7 multiplied 2 is 14. And the remainder is 1. So we have remainder. The remainder is 1. So the remainder should be the numerator. Okay. So the final answer here is 17 and 1 half. And 1 half. So this is the value of M. And we have the final answer. M equal 17 and half. Okay, let's solve question number three the same way. We have P plus three fourth equal one and half. Okay, we have here the variable, the unknown is P. How to find the value of P? Yes, we want to remove the 3 fourth of the 3 fourth. How to do this? Use the inverse operation of addition. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So we should subtract 3 fourth from both sides now subtract 3 fourth so 3 fourth minus 3 fourth is 0 and the remaining here in the left side is P in the right side 1 and half we can do this in many ways one of these ways is to convert one and half into improper fraction. We have the denominator two and two multiplied by one is two plus one is three. Minus three fourth. Now we should have the same denominator. I will write the denominator, the, the common multiple of 2 and 4, which is 4. The common multiple of 2 and 4. The first one, 2, it became, yes, the 2 became 4. So, we should multiply by 2. Do the same for 3, multiply by 2, it will be, excellent, 6. Now, we have 4 as it is, nothing happened to it, so 3 should be also as it is. Now subtract. Write the denominator and 6 minus 3 is 3. So we have 3 fourth. This is the value of the unknown P. So the second one here, number 3, P equal 3 fourth. Now try to solve question 4 and question 5 and come back to see the answer. I'm waiting for you. Welcome back. Let's see question number 4. Of course, this is multiplication. And the inverse of multiplication is division. So we should divide by 
three eighths. When we divide by three eighths in the right side, we should do the same to the left side. Divide also by three eighths. So in this side also we should divide by three eighths. Now when we divide three eighths by three eighths, it's one and the right side is only y. And instead of writing this in the left side, I can write it in the right. It's the same. Okay? So I will do this. I will write y equal 9 divided by 3 eighths, which is multiplied by the reciprocal of 3 eighths which is 8 thirds now we can simplify since we have 1 in the denominator of 9 simplify divide by 3 is 1 and 9 divided by 3 is 3 now multiply 3 by 8 and 1 by 1 okay so we have 3 multiplied 8 is 24 and 1 by 1 is 1 since this is 24 over 1 it's the same as 24 so we have the answer y equal 24 so your answer should be y equal 24 let's see the next question Question number five. Seven tenth equal x minus three fifth. Now we need to find the value of x. How to do this? Yes, this is minus three fifth. So, do the opposite, the inverse opposite, uh, operation, plus add, add 3 fifths to both sides. And now, we have 3 fifths and minus 3 fifths, subtract 3 fifths minus itself is 0. So, x equal instead of writing this in the left I will write it in the right okay let's do this so I will write this in the right 7 tenth plus three-fifths we have the denominator 10 and 5 the common multiple of 10 and 5 is 10 so we can use it 10 now as you know 10 as it is so 7 also should be as it is the same here 5 we multiply it by 2 so 3 also should be multiplied by 2 it will be 6 now 7 tenth plus 6 tenth that's 13 tenth don't forget we only add the numerator and the denominator we write it as it is don't change the denominator okay good
Now 13 is more than 10. So we should write this as a mixed number. 13 divided 10 is 1 and the remainder is 3. Since 1 multiplied 10 is 10. So we have the final answer. X equal 1 and 3 tenths. Thank you guys, that's all for today, goodbye.